So about 18 months ago, we merged our generalist consumer and sports B2B PR agency with a, a digital marketing agency uh, called Blowfish. Uh, we'd been working with them for a couple of years on a, on a few clients and decided that it was a good time to integrate our offer. The client feedback to the merger has been resoundingly positive. Um, for those clients that we are doing very integrated work now, they can really see the, the benefits of the consolidated way that we're working. Um, we're able to bring multiple people into the room to talk about the various different elements of their business and they're seeing much more efficiency and output in the results as well. From the, the employee perspective, being able to complete the full circle I think has been a really excellent learning curve uh, for everyone on the team. So for example, before where we may have created content and then passed it over to someone else to amplify it, we are now doing that as well and then we can look through the whole process through to the website onwards, see the results and talk to the client about the, the full picture. We originally met the other agency through shared clients. We were being asked to work with them, uh, originally from an online um, earned media perspective from ourselves and with the other agency from a technical SEO perspective. Um, and after a while we realised that actually the solution was to work together and, and that would actually enable clients to achieve what they wanted much better in an integrated way. I think the most challenging thing about the merger is um, being bringing together two very different sets of people. So very creative people traditionally from a PR background with very data analytical insight driven people from the digital marketing side of the business. But actually both sides have benefited each other. Um, we're much more effective at using insights to actually drive our creativity but also much better at measuring the impact that creativity has. Uh, so as an example, one of the benefits for one of our FMCG clients who we started out working with on a more traditional PR basis, they started seeing great results generated from the blogger engagement and content creation that we were doing for them. However, their website wasn't optimised to, to make the most of this, so that was the next step in the process that we were able to take on. So now we look after the website, it's fully optimised, so we're doing content creation for them. We've started up a YouTube page which we've populated with videos and the results that they're seeing are fantastic for the business and they've seen you know, really strong growth as well. The only thing that we would have done differently is probably do it sooner. Um, although we feel that we've been ahead of the curve, um, and also ahead of the curve of some of our clients. Actually, we are confident this is the right approach to take. And if we'd done it two years earlier, we'd have been happier. But um, as it is, I think we're still we're learning every day. Things are evolving every week in terms of platform news. Um, so that we're confident that we did the right thing, but we just wish we'd done it earlier. In terms of 10 years time and the, you know, the traditional PR agency I would imagine is very much not going to be in existence. I think things will be far more integrated, very insightful and I think much more creative as a result. We are doing work that we wouldn't have normally have classified as being PR just a few years ago. And I think um, it will really depend on what people's perception of PR is and what they're willing to buy. Um, personally I think it will move into much more of a wider digital marketing uh, profession rather than just one that's associated with pure media relations.